Uh, yes, student, a very good morning. Today we are going to start the letter of inquiry, which we have done earlier also. Uh, but today we'll be in a way, we'll be revising it. Uh, you people uh, write down the format on your fair notebooks and the question which will which i'll give you to uh, later on that will be a home that will be homework you do that so first let's see how to write a letter of inquiry but before that <clears throat> let's see what's what is a letter of inquiry why we write a letter of inquiry and uh, what's the difference between uh, the inquiry with spellings i n q u i r y or the word with spellings E N Q U I R Y. <clears throat> Basically, both inquiry with I and inquiry with E have same meanings. Meaning is to ask for details. When you inquire for something, <clears throat> it means that you are asking for certain detail. Okay. The point is like why. Uh, why, when to use I and spellings and when to use E and spelling. Children, when we write letter of inquiry, <clears throat> I N, when it, it is with I N, then it is for formal inquiry. It is formal. Okay, inquiry with I N is formal in nature, whereas uh, inquiry with E is informal in nature. Okay, whenever you seek information, inspection, that is always with I. Okay, the words with I, like information, in, uh, inspection, inquiry, starting with I, have are formal in nature. When you inquire after somebody's health, and all that is informal, <clears throat> right? So the basic difference, which many a times children are often ask, like, mom, what's the difference between the inquiry with I and inquiry with E? So the basic meaning wise, both are same, but the word I has is formal in nature, inquiry, formal inquiry, okay? So in our syllabus, we'll be dealing with the letters of formal inquiries, right? <clears throat> Now the point is, uh, when do we, uh, why do we write a letter of inquiries? When we need to ask the details of certain service or product, right? When we need to ask details of, it can be a service, it can be a product, services can be of anything it can be regarding a hotel it can be regarding a, a catering it can be regarding a, a tourism okay uh, it can be regarding the coaching center it like coaching you want to seek it can be regarding some course you want to avail of okay or the inquiry can be of some product you want to purchase uh, something but before you purchase, you want to seek inquiry. Okay. So inquiry can be of the service or of the product. Right. Now the point is, when to write letter of inquiry, before you are to write the letter of inquiry before you've decided to finally avail or purchase the service or product. This is very important children. This information which I'm telling you right now is very important because it is here where most of the children go confused. <clears throat> is that clear? <clears throat> before you have decided to finally avail or purchase the services or the products. 
children what happens is like uh, uh, suppose uh, i want to uh, join german language class somewhere and i've got to know that uh, there are about four institutes which teach german right but i am confused like which institute i must join <clears throat> but one thing is sure, sure that i want to learn german from some institute but from which institute i don't know so for that i'll be writing a letter of inquiry to four of the institutes to all the institutes to know like if uh, to know the details so that i am able to choose the best place like on what basis will i be will i be choosing the best place the place which will suit to my requirement or the place which will uh, you know satisfy my needs right so when you've decided finally that to, before you finally decide like from where exactly to then you need to inquire okay you want to purchase a laptop but from where to purchase or what kind of laptop you need to purchase you can write a letter of inquiry uh, to the different dealers those who deal with laptops and you can seek various informations you can seek uh, queries you can ask them the questions you need to ask and the place and the dealer who satisfy your needs you can go to that person and purchase okay letter of inquiry is not the uh, final stamp of purchase mind it when you write a letter of query there is no promise that you will purchase mind it this is the most important thing to know many children do the con confuse here only like when they are writing a letter of query they make a promise that yes i have purchased i will send you the payment later on yes you can uh, talk about the payment only when when the things have been finalized later on when you are placing order but here in the letter of inquiry you can ask about the details you need to know and you can ask for the brochure you can ask for the catalog and yes if the brochure for the brochure you can talk about the payment like yes uh, i'll uh, uh, the payment will be done after i receive the brochure something like that or you can send the advance payment of the brochure which they will be sending you so these are the prerequisites to know before you start writing the letter of query okay before you start making inquiry know this that you are you are on the way you are you are deciding like what to do it's not final okay <clears throat> now let's start the letter of inquiry format wise children letter of inquiry is the same like any other formal letter so still we'll be revising the format first of all we write self address right after the self address you will write date after date you will write the address of addressee that is receiver's address after the receiver's address and children yes in the receiver's address you will make sure that you write the designation then uh, institute or uh, institute or what we say organization whatever and finally the place so these things come in the receiver's address designation is most important after this receiver's address we write subject what will be the subject the subject will be like inquiry regarding the course in german or re inquiry regarding uh, uh, the booking of a hotel uh, booking of uh, two rooms in a hotel something like this so inquiry regarding so whatever that you can add there so what start like inquiry regarding 
so subject after the subject we write the salutation salutation is always like dear whatever the designation is if the designation was manager you can say dear manager or dear the ceo whatever but it is wrong to say dear sir oblique ma'am okay that is not uh, acceptable dear sir oblique ma'am is not acceptable but yes if you are very sure that the person is a male you can mention dear sir if you know it's a female you can mention dear ma uh, uh, ma'am but better you address the person like dear manager dear principal dear teacher anything is that clear dear director dear ceo dear chairman so if you address somebody with his designation that is not offensive and even using dear with that is just it is as formal as you just write for sir or ma'am so after the salutation our content will start yes content i'll be talking about separately uh, full content will be discussing separately but here it's only the format so after the content when our content would finish finally we would write yours truly that's a complimentary close okay so complimentary close we do with like uh, yours truly and then your address uh, your name your signatures uh, your signature then your name okay the your signature and name in the end this whole is a complimentary close this is the format now what we have to discuss in detail content part so that we are coming to i hope you all noted what i've written over here so please note down the uh, whole format in your fair notebook it will be checked okay <clears throat> yes arman yes ma'am what you have written at the last it is the signature and name in the end it is signature and name so let me mention here after you ask truly you will write you will put your signature then you can write your full name clearly Yes anything else Ritika send me only the names of absentees today Okay <clears throat> Now we we are coming to the next part of the letter that is content that is the body of the letter that's the spirit of the letter content part now yes when you start writing the content of the letter when you start writing after dear uh, dear manager dear whatever then we divide the letter in about three or four paragraphs what is there in the first paragraph in the first paragraph we give reference to we talk about the reference reference to the newspaper or any other uh, or any anything from where we got to know about this product or service or from where we got from where we saw this advertisement okay this letter is with reference to the advertisement in the newspaper you can mention the newspaper or any other agency from where you got the ad newspaper dated regarding the advertisement of okay you uh, are this product or service so first of all mention from where you got to know about this uh, uh, about uh, the, this institute or about this service got it then afterwards uh, with the reference you will mention who you are 
who you are and what why and why this letter who you are and why this letter because when you will mention like why are you writing this letter what's the purpose of writing this letter what's the purpose of making inquiry then the recipient will come to know that you are an authentic uh, uh, prospective customer then he will he will like feel like writing back to you that person will have a conviction that yes this person might be availing of my service or might be my customer so only then he will be uh, serious about your letter and then will send you a reply otherwise your letter might go back into the dustbin okay because uh, the recipient might not be a free person he will reply to you only when he will uh, know that there is something uh, uh, you know there might be a prospective customer or buyer in you <clears throat> so these two things are very important like mention who you are here who you are doesn't mean that you mention your name your name is not at all important here the most important thing is like you are uh, suppose you are uh, writing a letter uh, to the manager of uh, uh, computer institute because you want to join a short term computer course after your 10th exams imagine imagine you are interested in joining a joining an institute to do short term computer course after your 10th exams so what will you mention here uh, you'll say like i am a student of 10th class of a reputed cbsc affiliated school of jalandhar and i wish to do a short term course after my 10th board exams uh, so that i am equipped to to enhance my computer skills that's it so who you are a student of 10th class from a cbsc affiliated public school uh, from jalandhar why you write this letter because you want to do a short term computer course after your 10th board exams so both of the things have been answered here so first to mention the reference then you talk about who you are and why this letter this is first paragraph okay when these things are clear then the recipient will feel like reading your letter and if you won't write this the recipient might feel that this is a person who is wasting his time so please write mention it clearly like why are you writing this letter <clears throat> okay and then here also you make it clear like what's the ultimate goal the, though you have made it clear over here so ultimate goal should be clear of writing this letter the ultimate aim is that you want to join this institute for this computer course or you want to book hotel for 10 days during summer break for example i'm saying so after the first paragraph we will talk about second paragraph <clears throat> so now second paragraph second paragraph is the question letter of inquiry so in the second paragraph we will we will ask details we'll ask details of those things we, which we need okay so what the whatever you need to ask you know ask them in uh, in separate points but instead of writing them like uh, simple points like uh, uh, fee structure or uh, scholarships or uh, uh, transport facility suppose you want to ask these three things from the uh, manager of uh, that course of that computer department computer institute these three points are there with you but you need to know how to uh, how to ask these things uh, sir uh, i am interested in joining your institute uh, right after my exams are over but before i join your institute before i enroll for it i would like to know a few things first uh i would be really uh, it will be a privilege or uh, it will be a great honor if you kindly uh, tell the fee structure p 
the structure of your institute i would like to know if we can uh, if we have to pay in advance or if we have to pay the fee uh, monthly whatever so scholarships uh, another thing i would like to know is like uh, if i am eligible for the scholarships because i am a student with uh, above 95 percent or percentage of aggregate for in my pre boards so if transport facility is available uh, i'll uh, your institute is quite far away from my place so i would like to know if uh, your institute provides a suitable transport facility to the uh, students or not right whatever for example you can ask the details uh, in one paragraph but with uh, a proper format the sentence linkers should be used proper sentence structures should be used for example uh, it would be uh, uh, you would really uh, you would really do me an honor you would really uh, it would be really great on your part if you furnish me the information regarding fee scholarship and transport facility for example so when you have asked the relevant questions then afterwards the third paragraph will start and that third paragraph is about <clears throat> so in the third paragraph you will be requesting requesting for reply uh, you can give a deadline okay if you are in an uh, if there is some date by which you need the answer by all means then you can mention okay uh, supposing uh, you'll be going abroad by you'll be going to canada on 20th of uh, july then you need to uh, do this course before 20th july mention this so you can you can request for a reply till some particular date if not exact date then some tentative date or tentative time you can mention so request for the reply at the earliest why also mention the reason like why you want the reply at the earliest because you will be leaving uh, for canada because you will be joining the uh, you will be uh, uh, you will be leave, uh, going out of station or you will be joining your uh, college for higher studies whatever so request for a reply at the earliest and what you want in return you can ask for a brochure or you can uh, ask for a means uh, i mean like you can ask for in the third paragraph request request for a for an earliest reply then request for uh, uh, like you want a catalog or you want the brochure of the institute and then yes along with the request you can also send draft with advance payment with advance payment for uh, uh, for either like brochure or for the prospectus or anything or you can say like you will be giving the payment after you receive the uh, prospectus or something so mainly third paragraph is about the request request regarding the uh, suitable reply request regarding the uh, brochure or prospectus or uh, the catalog so that you are able to join the institute at the earliest right so finally in the end conclude with a positive note <clears throat> conclude with a positive note how can you conclude with a positive note hoping to receive a hoping to see uh, receive letter at the earliest hoping to looking forward to a favorable reply then in the end the complimentary close we have already done yours truly xyz okay so that's it the format wise and content wise also given you some uh, information now you people write a question which will be doing today after the class yes write a question write a letter to the manager of yes write a letter to the manager of 
English word inquiring about inquiring about the courses in inquiring about the courses in personality development or personality development and spoken english also mention the reason as to why you want to join that course you are you are arushi from jan vidya mandir ludhiana you are arushi from jan vidya mandir ludhiana okay <clears throat> janvi pushkar and aryansh they are not there actually okay children have you got the question have you noted the question yes okay so will the homework be done today okay now hands are go going okay except uh, arshin or chayank yes arshin only is raising hand so do the homework also today and send me the notebooks by 9 pm 9 pm should not be 10 pm yes arshin um good afternoon ma'am yes good afternoon uh ma'am actually i wanted to make a request regarding this only ma'am that can we please send the notebooks till tomorrow because we have also got a computer projects and we also have to complete it side by side so it will be a little difficult to manage it till 9 pm today okay 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 send it by 9 pm tomorrow would that be fine okay thank you so much ma'am yeah i'm giving you two days okay send me uh, by 9 am day after tomorrow even okay but send me the complete work okay but letter you write all of you today okay letter you people write down at least you write the letter would that be fine don't send me the notebook but write the letter tomorrow in the class i will see your notebooks i'll see your notebooks here on the screen okay okay thank you then let's leave have fun i'm giving you 5 minutes to complete your computer project Okay